Hey guys, Blue here, and today I'm showing you how to build a basic starter plane. So first, you're going to want to go to this menu here, go to go to wedges, go to pyramid wedge, select it, and then rotate it like that. Then go to blocks, select block, place a block behind it, use this tool here to raise it up one block, then go to wedges, go to wedge 1x3, then rotate it and you're going to put them all the way around that block right there. Rotated like that. Then you're going to go to wedges 2. You're going to select the wedge, the triangle wedge 1 by 3. Then you're going to place those in the corners of all of these wedges. Just like that. And then you're going to go to wedges again. You, you select the wedge beam, and you're going to place them behind all of those triangle wedges, just like that. And then for these top two, you're going to place two more for each of them to extend them out this far. So it should look like this. You have that front part, the nose. And one, two, three wedges, wedge beams. Now go to blocks, go to beam one by seven, select it, then place one right behind that front wedge, behind that side wedge, and behind the other side wedge. Then go to wedges, select a wedge beam, rotate it like that, place it right there so it goes one, two wedge beams, so there's two of them. Do the same thing on the other side. Now there's two wedge beams. It lines up with the top ones. Then go to blocks, beam one by four, place it. Then on top, you're going to place, you're going to select the block, do one, two, three, go to wedges, wedge one by two, rotate it like that, and then place it right on top of the back two blocks these two right here, place it on top, then go to this little light bulb, select the main pilot seat, and place it right behind that wedge and that block right there. So it's right there and it's facing forwards, that way. Then go to blocks, select the beam 1x4, place it right behind that seat, right behind it, then place another one right behind it, then you're going to place two blocks behind it, just like that. So one, two. Then go to wedges, select half wedge, rotate it like that, and place it so it looks like this. Then go to wedges again, select the wedge one by two, place it, delete this one by four, place a wedge one by two, then go to blocks, Select block, place one, two, three. So there's three right there. One's lined up there, and then the rest are behind this wedge right here. Then go to wedges, select a wedge, rotate it, place two there, and two on this side, just like that. Then select wedges two, select the triangle wedge one by two and place it, well make sure, first of all, make sure it's rotated just like this, so it looks just like this, identical to it, then place one there, and there. So right on the sides of those two one by two wedges, you have two right there. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, so it's mirrored, so it's going to be rotated like this, so you place one there, and one right there. So if I were to color these, they are right there, they look like that, and right there. Okay, and now we're going to go to wedges 2, select the triangle wedge block 1 by 2, rotate it just like that, so on this side there's that slant right there that you can kind of see, it's kind of hard to mark out, but it's right there, so it looks like this, you're going to place it right there, and then you're going to mirror it, so you're going to rotate it like that, and place it right there. 
then it's all one smooth surface right here. Very smooth. Then, you're going to select the block in the blocks menu. Place one, two, three to fill in that gap. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to place the wings. So go to delta wings, go to delta wing one by three, and then rotate it just like this. So then place it right there on the second block part right there. Then place another one behind it, and then one off the side to that. And then we can delete this one because we don't need it. So it looks like this. So a one by three and a one by three, just like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. One right there, one right there. Delete that one. When we go back over here, we go to wing panels, wing panel one by three, and then we place one, two, three, just like that. Then we do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three. Then we go to control surfaces, control surface one by two, and then put them right behind those previous wings that you just placed. So three of them, one, two, three, just like that. And over here, you do the same thing. One, two, three, just like that. Then you go back here. Now for the tail wings. So now you're gonna select the, t the delta wing one by four. You're gonna rotate it just like that. Place one there, and then flip it. Place one right there. And then you're going to select the, you're gonna go to wing panels, wing panel one by four, and then place it right there, and then one right there. Then go to control surfaces, control for surface one by two. Place one right there, 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 and there. Just like that. Then do delta wings, go to delta wings, delta wing two, one by two. Place one there. Then go to wing panels, wing panel one by two. Place one right there. Then go to delta wings again, delta wing one by one. And place one right on top. Then go to control surfaces, control surface one by two. Place one just like that right there. And then a control surface one by one right above it. Just like that. So now we have to put in the engines for this thing to make it go forwards. So we're going to delete this one by four right here. We're gonna go to this little piston tool, this little piston section. We're gonna select the rocket engines super rocket engine I'm gonna rotate it just like that so it's positioned forward so that little arrow points forwards place another one so now there's two in there set them both to on off mode then go to blocks one by four and cover up that gap then for the final touch you're gonna select you're gonna go to the paint tool select this black color right here paint the window and there's your starter plane now you can launch it, and then hold W to go forwards, and use your mouse to steer. Aim it up to go up, down to go down, and left and right to go left and right. Well, that's all for today. See ya!